Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to some more College Football 25 content. And today, we've got Road to Glory. Which one shall we choose on our journey? Um, we will find out in a second. But first, I uploaded our first Dynasty episode with Washington State University. Of course, go Cougs, man. Come on. It had to be. It had to be. Um, but yeah, go check that out. That'll be um, in the description below, and it'll also just be on my channel. So if you hit that little icon um, next to the, you know, subscribe button, uh, you can go watch that video. I highly recommend it. But right now, we got Road to Glory. Uh, so basically, my player, my career, whatever you want to call it, um, college football edition. Now, you've got four different options you can choose from. You can be an elite um, prospect, aka Travis Hunter, number one in his class, blue chip, you know, a Marvin Harrison, um, those upper echelon types of guys, a contributor, overall balanced player, you might be able to start year one, um, you might redshirt depending on what college you choose to go to, and then underdog, which I imagine most people um, probably will choose, to be honest, uh, just that long journey to the top and obviously in this there's gonna be two goals obviously a natty gotta win a natty but I think going for a Heisman as well is gonna be a goal in this you still want a journey but I want to actually you know play some games in this first season so I think we're gonna go contributor and we're gonna be a quarterback and maybe have a chance at starting um, off rip now which archetype do we want to go with Obviously, the game has gone so far into quarterbacks that can improvise, that can scramble, that have athleticism, that have these big arms. So I think we're going to go maybe with improviser. I think I'm going to go improviser here. As we get the show on the road, um, and let me quickly make this. I have no idea what I'm going to name this player. All right, ladies and gentlemen, feast your eyes. I don't know how I came up with this. But Boris Bones, yeah, I I got no idea. But that's what we're going to go with. I'm not going to name it after myself, um, obviously. You know, I don't have a man bun. But Boris Bones, man, he going to have some drip, all right? Let me tell you. But here we are. We've got fan favorite, road dog, and clear-headed as our mental abilities. I believe that we work towards. I don't know if we start with them, but Boris Bones is ready to get started here in college football. Where will we get our offer? All right, Donna Harper, local TV reporter, um, getting a little interview with us. We want to get on the field. I feel like, in, at least in this series, we want to be on the field. We want to be playing, um, going through the ups and downs. Having a great college experience. Getting NIL opportunities. I think those are good answers. Let's see. So if we go to Kennesaw State, we would have the starting job immediately. Is there anywhere else that has that? It does not look like it. We are a 67 overall. Bowling Green has a senior in front of us. Northwestern also has a senior. Do we start at Kennesaw? Because I feel like if we go somewhere, you know, like a a Bowling Green, we're just not going to play. They're going to stick by their senior, especially when he's at 80 overall. Air Force would be interesting. They don't do a lot of passing, however. And I don't know if I just want to jump right into the Big Ten. That would be... Whew, I feel like that would be absolutely brutal. You know what? I think we're going to go to Air Force. I think that's where our best chance to try and compete for a starting job is. Although, maybe we should just go Kennesaw and then transfer after a year. Because we would literally start right away. And I think that's what I want to do in this series. Screw it. I just talked myself into it. We're going to sign with Kennesaw State. Um, Boris Bones, man, ready to cook three skill points here to upgrade. Um, accuracy is not actually too bad. Throw power isn't bad either. Maybe we just upgrade the accuracy even more. Why not? 
I like it. And then we'll upgrade the IQ as well, because to play quarterback, you're going to need some IQ. Let me tell you, um, especially at Kennesaw State, where I can't imagine we have the greatest offensive line in the world. <laughs> as Philip Winters, the local newspaper writer, is reaching out to us. Find yourself thrust into a starting role with Kennesaw State in your first collegiate season. What are you looking forward to the most? Let's say playing with our teammates. Let's try and get some team chemistry going. Get the leadership upgrade. So that's big. We got to prove to these bigger schools that we belong not only in college football, but at the D1 level and even further at a top tier power five school. Because... We're not staying here in the long run. I can tell you that right now. All right, we're going to hop into past skeleton here for practice and feel out Boris Bones here. I'm going to find a receiver across the middle of the field. Now, we obviously want to get in the end zone, but we don't want to completely force it. I guess we'll take that. That should be a touchdown. Get up field. Out of boy. And number six gets us into the end zone. Or number five, sorry. So we've got a bronze already. I don't know how much silver or gold is in this. But I feel like we're inching pretty close. Still got about 30 seconds on the clock. Just complete the pass. Oh, get in. Number six is a demon. That's our number one receiver right there. Someone get open? You're kidding. We got sacked. That's unreal. I'm going to hit, give him block. Oh, yeah. Okay, that works. We got to get back into it. I think we can still get silver. It's going to be close. Oh, good catch. Down to the two. We got to punch this in. Easy. Over the middle. Oh, I thought he was going to break that tackle. We got four seconds left. This has to go to the end zone, or we don't have a shot. It's up there. It's incomplete. Oh, we were less than 700 points off of silver. So, weekly agenda now. We have six energy points per week. And GPA is very important from what I understand. So, we will do some studying this week. Really get that up. We also want to do some team building. We need to get leadership up. Um, could do skill points. Now, let's do another leadership and then local hero as well to build our brand a little bit hopefully those were correct decisions because obviously in this you want to keep the gpa up but you also want to keep developing as a player decisions every week we got utsa week one at utsa let's get a skill point before this game as well i feel like that's not too bad our health how is our entire what are we, Anthony Davis? Just built of glass? All right. This time, we're still doing skeleton, but we are outmanned. So there is a lot of defenders on the field, and I threw an interception on the first one. Oh, my goodness. That one, a nice little corner route. Oh, oh. There we go. Easy. In the end zone. Multiplier on. Let's go. Get over the field. Get there. What a catch. Had to bring them back just a little bit. Oh, oh, that was perfectly read by the DB. Oh, my goodness. Read my eyes like a book. Not that time, though. Through with anticipation. Oh, we got the running back out of the backfield. Get in the end zone, kid. Atta boy. We got to get bronze here. Oh, my goodness. To the running back again on the wheel route who gets in the end zone. There's bronze. There's no 
chance in hell that we're getting that elusive silver medal. Yeah, it was 7,000. Um, poor start through the interception. It We're all good, though. All right, I believe that's all we have before week number one. August 31st at UTSA, the Roadrunners. Can we give them a run for their money here in week one? Obviously, we're going to be underdogs all year long. But can we maybe pull out a week one upset against a really good UTSA team, might I add? Like, this is definitely one of the better um, best of five programs in the country. As before we get into this, our academic advisor is saying that we need to keep a 2.0 GPA. Hey, Karen, keep your energy over there. We're here to ball out. We did get an NIL offer, however. Ricky Slick's Barbershop. Three-week contract for the cost of one energy. And we get a medium boost to leadership, uh, our leadership meter as well. And free haircuts for our position group, so that's probably why we get that. Why not? I mean, that's what we came here to do. We wanted to get those NIL deals. Um, oh, did I really? That's on me. That's on me. I did not mean to advance the week. We will quickly <laughs> go through this again and play it. Louisiana. Uh, was that Lafayette or Tech? I, I don't know. I'm going to be honest. I didn't really take a, a hard look at it. Oh, it was Louisiana. Raging Cajuns. We will simulate practice this time. Uh, and go straight into the game. My bad. Uh, that don't look good, but we've got the Rage Occasions here who've been in some bowl games uh, pretty often in recent years. So, good program. Let's see what we can give them. And here come the Kenna or Kennesaw, not Canada, State Owls. Onto their home turf in front of their home crowd of about 50 in the rain, so I don't blame them. It's 1-0 versus 0-1. We couldn't pull off the upset in UTSA. Maybe we can here at home with Boris Bones. The problem, however, is this. We have one option for play calls, and I am backing up that camera. That was way too close. And I did not mean to pull that. Boris Bones got to calm down here. And he's got his tight end over the middle of the field. That's our guy. Number five up the field for about 20. Okay. Settle in. Find your man. Let's go. Coach calling a halfback uh, stretch here. We're going to flip this, I think. I don't like those two free corners over there. Give us some good blocks. Get up field. He gets absolutely throttled. Coach says run it again. Did you see what just happened to my man's? He got obliterated. This time we'll hand it off to Zero, who gets tackled for a three-yard loss. Ben Yard, our star receiver, out in the slot. Oh, oh, and somehow Boris Bones gets out of the traffic in the backfield and throws an interception. Made a great effort to get out of the pocket and then throws a pick. And now the coach is taking it out of our hands, respectfully. Um, I can't really complain about that one. All right, Benyard on the stretch again. He's got room. Gets up field for about eight. Back to him. Getting up field. I think he got that, and he did. All right, coach, just don't. Yeah, don't trust me. Third running play in a row. Benyard on the carry again. Gets maybe two. They only give him one. Okay, this this is a joke, right? I mean, three running plays. Now four. Back to back to back to back. On the halfback draw this time. Nowhere. Lost a two. Definitely not a favorable situation here. But we got to be smarter with the football. We're going to dump it to Benyard. Fights off one. Can't get away from the second. Did pick up seven, but nothing else was open. Take the check down. We do have to be careful of wear and tear. 
like I said, this offensive line, definitely not anything special. No offense to Kennesaw State. I mean, I I would be no better. I'll, I'll say it up front, obviously. I'm, you know, six foot, like 190 pounds. There's no way I'm playing up front against these D1 athletes. We can't keep taking shots with Boris Bones, who has already taken a couple today. So our defense is holding up really nicely. What a route from the tight end. Who gets the first down? Find the open man. We got play action this time. Over the middle of the field. Sideline, and he caught it. And that's another Kennesaw State first down on a passing play, might I add. 25 seconds left in the first quarter. 0-0 ball game still. We have an opportunity to take the lead. Come back. Did he catch that? Oh my god, that was a horrible throw. We don't have to snap this, and I don't think we will. That throw was so far behind him, I thought the corner was going to pick that. We've got numbers in the box. Motion the tight end into the backfield. Bones, hands Benefield, touchdown, Kennesaw State, and the crowd roars here at home. A 7-0 lead, did you expect that one when you clicked on this video? I bet you didn't. Benyard in motion. That one outside, oh, Benyard gets about 20 to the 39 of Louisiana. 32, sorry. What a run. That one, not really the same results. Coach trusting us here on second and 13 to try and get some yardage back. Benefield still in the backfield. Bones scanning, dumps off for the check down and gets absolutely leveled. I did not think that was really a hospital pass though. Oh, that, that screen set up really nice. Benyard only gets six back. We might be able to take a chance at a field goal there, though. And we get the field goal, so 10-0, now 10-7 lead, unfortunately. Two minutes and 22 seconds left here in this first half. Kennesaw State still with the lead as Benyard continues to fight for extra yards. This will be the last play. We're going to snap it right before the two-minute warning and maybe catch him off guard. Benyard, the carry. Benyard doesn't reach the third and short a yard and maybe a little bit to go no deep safety however changing Bohannon's route to a streak I think he got him the deep ball to Bohannon and it's caught Bohannon with the hands he was showing him in practice he shows him here in the game Bones with his first deep shot of the day, finding Bohannon, and now we got to scramble. Bones on the run. Bones into the end zone. Kennesaw State. Another touchdown on the board before halftime. Do you believe what you just saw? How did they score that quickly? That was like 20 seconds. Our entire offense nearly on fire, including Bones as he catches a wide snap. Sets his feet back across the middle, what a catch! And we're gonna run a no huddle here. Run a quick play, 40 seconds left. I like that streak on the outside if the safety doesn't cover it. Oh, he's got a beat! Bones doesn't put everything on it though! We're gonna have to put a little bit more uh, strength on in the weight room. I do like this concept though. Benyard on the slot fade. Motion him up. Bones takes off. Bones gets the first down to the 48 of the Raging Cajuns. 23 seconds left. We still got all three timeouts here as well. Oh, I like that route. Hits the tight end. Breaks a tackle. Tight end down to the six. With 15 seconds when we will take our first time out. Bones is playing out of his mind right now. Dime after dime after dime. 15 seconds on the clock. 
Can't find anyone, has to throw it away. I think we had that mesh route underneath originally, and I probably should have taken it. Bones takes the snap. Pressure coming! That one nearly picked off. No! There's six seconds left. There's time for one more play. Oh, that's such a throw. Now we're down one. I don't like that call, coach. Not at all. We'll hand it to Benyard here on the first play of the second half. I don't like those calls. Now we've got a third and nine to start off our first drive here in the third quarter. We're going to find our tight end, but that's just incomplete. It was late. And the Owls will have to punt. And now an eight-point ball game as Louisiana has come out and scored on both possessions in the third quarter. Can we put Bohannon on a... Oh, no, because it's an RPO. We're going to hand it off. Get one. Got a little bit of Mo Bamba going in the background. That's the energy we need. Flick. Oh, that's set up so well. Give him a block. He gets the first down. That could have gone a lot farther. Those blocks did not set up as well as I thought they would. Also, offensive line needs to get out there and really put their hands on someone next time. Pause. We go to the power running game. Come on, coach. Let me throw it, man. Did you not just see the last play? Hand off again to Benefield. Guess what? Only gets two yards. And now we have to go... 39 pass play. 39. Four and a half minutes left. Bones takes the snap. And that one's incomplete. I accidentally pump faked the first option. And it was so open. Our defense makes a massive stop. And gets us to the 37. I don't know if that was an interception, but it's huge. Bones over the top. Would have liked that farther over to the sideline. That's all right, though. Coach has given us a chance here to prove ourselves. Pass plays on first and second down. Can almost guarantee one if this gets to third. And we're just going to take off. Bones gets third and inches. I like this play. Wait, am I running it? Oh, oh, this could be interesting. Third and inches. Puts the ball in our hands. Benyard gets the first. Had to fight for it for sure, but picks up a massive first down. Boris Bones. Does he have ice in those bones? Oh, he's got a receiver on the out route. Did he get his feet in? Yes, he did. Gabriel Benyard. I'm actually going to put Bohannon on a little bit of a clear route. If no one, if Kent can just beat him to the pylon, this is a touchdown. Kent is so slow man sprint there's no way that's you sprinting i don't like this play call strong flood i'm gonna put moss here on a drag maybe a last option moss over the middle into the end zone but we're not finished we gotta get two we got finer and bohannon out to the left benyard will be swinging out to the right the snap we just got to get it out quick, and it's incomplete. They brought the heat, and we didn't have an extra man to block it. Our defense gets another huge stop, but we're at our own one. Can Boris Bones go 99 yards in a minute 53? Kent, it was a bad throw, but it's complete. Bones, another snap. Running away from pressure. Bones just gets it away. <sighs> A minute 35 for Bones and crew. Oh, no. Oh, no. Boris Bones throws a game ceiling. Pick six. Now we got to go for it. Two timeouts. Bohannon down the sideline. Oh, that's a dart. Oh, I should have. I should have given him the rack opportunity there. What are these play calls? I'm going to send Moss on a streak now. 
Oh my god, I did it again. Oh my god. Bones completely falling apart now. A day that was going so well is ending in misery for Kennesaw State. Oh, slashing across the field. Yeah. I mean, that goes against the cardinal rule of a quarterback, but we've already thrown, what, two, three picks now? Cardinal rule is out the window. That one intercepted. Boris Bones was on absolute fire and now ice cold as Kennesaw State will drop to 0-2 in a heartbreaker that on the scoreboard does not quite look like a heartbreaker. You know, that could be very detrimental to the way coach might think about us. That was so bad. But if you've seen any of my other series, you're not surprised with interceptions. But that was bad. I mean, back-to-back -back pick six is on the same exact throw. Um, let's get in throwing under duress. I think that'll be really good um, to upgrade. As we got San Jose State, we got to go to Southern California. That'll be for next episode, and we will leave the upgrades for next episode as well. Um, oh, man, that was tough. Uh, sorry again for skipping week one. Uh, I did not mean to. That was idiotic, but got a good game in against Louisiana. Uh, unfortunately, though, we blew it, and it was all on us. Boris Bones will come back better than ever, though. 71 overall will lead Kennesaw State into San Jose, and I think we can pull out a win there. Thank you guys so much for uh, watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and like I said earlier on in this video, go check out in the description below Coog's Dynasty. It's a fun one, and it's going to be a great series, along with this one. So subscribe, or subscribe, sorry. Hit the notification bell, and uh, I will see you all in the next one. Take it easy, and peace.